Let's not forget that it was heroics from Alex Loudon who hit the free throw to win the first game of the season for Cairns against Illawarra. And now Scoochie Smith, the 22-year-old youngest import in the Hungry Jacks National Basketball League, steps up to the line to try and put Cairns back in front with less than four seconds on the clock. 3.9 to be precise, rounded out the four on our score. And he peels off the first. We're tied at 70. Beautiful confidence right off the back rim, straight down the barrel, never looked like missing. Misses the back end, gets after his own rebound, he fires, he stepped out of court. And the breakers are going to have 1.9 seconds, although we might have to address this and just make sure of the clock. Timeout call. Scoochie yeah, Smith misses the back end and maybe overtime is coming our way, Cam. I'm gonna, the cheeseburgers are going to have to wait, Case. Scoochie knew it was off. He was after it. That was the chip and chase. Unfortunately, took the boot out of bounds. And now Paul Hanara, he'll get to throw his hat into the ring and practice one of his... Or draw up one of his last second plays that I'm sure they've practiced. I have to say the Breakers are arguably the best team in the league in this situation as well. They get a play to make a score. And they've got 1.9 seconds to manufacture the play here. We're tied at 70. In fact, the Breakers, given the history between these teams, they need to win it here in regulation because they've played overtime three times, these teams, all here in Cairns, and the Taipans have won all three. Well, Aaron Kern has absolutely owned Paul Hanari in the, the five times they've met, five and oh. Paulie would love to get his first win over Fernie here tonight and just keep those breakers on top of the ladder. Look at the options if you're him for this last second play. The athletic athleticism of Tom Abercrombie. Maybe I'm just throwing it to the rim or maybe I'm just giving it to Kirk Penny and getting the hell out of the way. Well, you were right with Scoochie Smith. So we'll pin you down to one. Who do you think's going to have the shot? Well, I think they're going to Tom Abercrombie here. He's got that built-in mini tramp. If he gets a catch, he gets to the top floor, he'll get that jumper off. Just checking the clock to make sure we've got the right time. Rounded off here to 2.1. DJ Newbill to restart. Kenny, Vicona, Sosa, Abercrombie on the floor with Newbill. Oh, Kenny, have a delay again. Oh, right yes. So it's a technical foul. Well, we certainly don't want to see that if you're a can supporter. Breakers with a chance here to win it at the death. Newville restarts. Sosa in the corner for the win. He trains it. Edgar Sosa comes up with the enormous play to grab his team across the line. Oh! 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 There was time on the clock. The Taipans have hit it at the buzzer. Both teams are celebrating. The Breakers think they've won it. The Taipans think they've won it. I've never seen anything like this case. Both teams in celebration. Sosa's knocked down the three. There was 0 0.1 on the clock, and the Taipans have knocked down the three, but it's waved away. This crowd here is stunned, and the Breakers are elated. What an enormous finish here. This is Sosa knocking down the three. Thinks he's won the game. The Taipans restart. They give it to Glidden. He was one of ten from the field. He goes a three-quarter court shot and knocks it down. Taipans think that they've won, but it's waved off as after the event. Well, we'll try and get another angle on that because when the ball left his hand, there was 0 0.1 on the clock, but looking at that replay, the time looked as though it should have expired and maybe the clock hadn't been restarted. And the rule is you need 0.4 of a second to get a genuine shot off. Could only be a tip. Glidden would have had to tip that thing in. What an effort. What a finish. I need one of the catapult heart rate. Monitors on me, Case. We see the winner from Edgar Sosa. Loud and saying there's time on the clock. Get it in, Glidden. Get in there. And this crowd went crazy only to have their hearts broken.
Well, one of the most amazing finishes in NBL history here. And Edgar Sosa knocks down the three that drags the breakers across the line. An amazing finish. And Cam Glidden's prayer at the death is waved away. They're singing, they're dancing, and the breakers have snapped the two and a half year losing streak against Cairns and have now won six in a row. They sure have, Case. Unbelievable. I've never seen in the history of the game in my life two teams celebrating a win at the exact same time. That was unbelievable. Amazing scenes. The Breakers win it by three. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this.